Uh, I'd like to get your opinion on U.S. policy on our aid to Iraq. If the Badr organization or any Iranian-linked entity continues to control Iraq's uh, interior ministry, is it in the interest of the United States to continue aiding Iraq's interior security force? I, I think it is. I think in the um, uh, in the short term, we don't we don't know who Sadr is, uh, and it's really a competition now between us and Iran over the over the direction of of Sadr. I I would think it'd be too early to make any kind of precipitative change precipitous change to the uh, to to the policy until we can stand Sadr. Uh, before a couple of uh, a couple of tests and see which way uh, which way things are going, um, the um, in, you know when when you look at uh, uh, at the core experiences of the uh, Iranian regime, it all goes back to the Iran Iraq War uh, and the the threats that they that emanated from Iraq so the the key desire of the Iranians i think the key strategic desire is to make sure that there isn't an independent iraqi military that can that can ever threat threaten iran again and that's got to be the key area of competition uh, and the, my fear is that the same as tammy's that if we leave the game we're just going to hand it over to them the fact of the matter is we have to play the game a little bit more like they do uh, which is when, 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 when Iraqis do something that the Iranians don't like, the, the Iranians threaten their lives or the lives of their loved ones. When Iraqis do something that we don't like, we send a demarche. Well, let's not adopt their strategy, though. Well, we have to, we have to, uh, we have to, hold, we have to threaten things that the Iranians hold dear. How's that? All right, that's better. Thank you, Ms. Pletka. I'm going to make a slightly less bloodthirsty comment than, than, than Mike. 